freaking. I was just speaking to myself. Well, I won't speak to myself, but I had this sort of idea that come come to mind. It was about. It was about actually speaking. I just got my uh, sorry. Let me just focus. It's what's the date today? Is it the eleventh? Is isn't it? Yeah, the eleventh. It's my. I think I've only just kind of realised this now. It's my second month of having Moldavite exactly today. So I could just do a video on that. Um, but I guess I'll just put that in with the video of what I'm speaking about. Right. Because a couple of people from my past have just come back to my workspace. And these people were negative people in my past. They lied to me about things that I held really close to my heart. And it brings up, you know, this, you know, this, this, you know, are they worth forgiving? Not, not necessarily forgiving. I've, you know, forgiven them. I think. But is it worth putting time and energy into? God's a fly right in the midst of me. Like bug off. Are these people worth putting energy and time into? Because my light is meant to outshine their darkness. And I'm not really like giving them the time of day when I'm in work, but then it's making me think like, am I keeping myself in a prison by not giving these people the time of day? And when I say time of day, I mean not giving them my light, not giving them my energy, not giving them my presence, not giving them any of my being, not giving them any of my attention because I don't feel they deserve it because of the way they were in the past with me. So it just brings up like these questions. It, it it makes me question my morals is what it does. It puts me in an awkward position in work. It really does. And there's I'd like a triangle of them, there's three of them, and part of me is like, you know, just leave the past in the past, which is probably good for some things, and then there's a part of me that's like, well, you know, I feel like I could do something in these people's lives with the power of the Holy Ghost and the power of my presence, the power of the Holy Ghost in my presence. There's a part of me that feels I could heal them and in turn it would heal me and in turn it would heal the collective of the people I work with. And but then there's a part of me that thinks like, well, would they just take advantage of my kindness? Would they just do what they did in the past and lie to me, gossip behind my back? You know, me giving them my attention, would they just trample over it? Would they just mock me and make fun of me for trying with them? You know what I mean? It brings up these kind of questions like, what do I do? What do I do, Lord? I'm just saying in prayer now, like, what do I do? It's just on my mind. And this is what I think, this is what I think my life purpose is. This is where it's starting to manifest. My dreams are starting to come into reality. My 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 light for others is my purpose. Just my. You know, my light, I am a light for others. People look up to me. I, I never get the credit I'm due. 
and I don't really mind. Um, but at the same time, you know what I mean, these people just need help because they're living in darkness and I'm a help to them. And I feel like it's a good opportunity for me to help people that need help. You know, because hurt people hurt people. And it's kind of an injustice in a way I feel because I have this opportunity and I feel like I have the capability of healing people in my workspace that I full well know are living in darkness. But at the same time in the past, they treated me like, you know, badly. Just pray in Christ's name and what to do really, what, what? What's the right thing to do? Oh, there's an angel number. There's an angel number. I think it was 890. I think I got that one last time. So yeah, let me see what that means. Hmm. Says useless. <laughs> But anyway, I'll leave this video there.